closer to me. I don't know what to say. Hey guys, it's Jared. Jared looks so spicy. <laughs> it's so spicy. <clears throat> <laughs> Brandon's got his nipples out in the background. All right. What's up guys? I'm Jared with the Ryan Training Group. We got Jason from Ransom Tactical Solutions here as well. We are at FRC's indoor shoot house just talking through some stuff about CQB. We've been doing these series for a long time now. You guys hopefully have been caught up. So um, what we're going to talk about now is priorities of work. And I know that that phrase means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. There's military units, there's law enforcement units, um, there's random folks that have different definitions of what that means. For us, it means the priority of what you're working in a room, clearing it before you go to the next one. So it's what are we worried about? And uh, we've talked a lot about principles, you know, left, right, left, right, uh, speed and Speed is distance, right? You can't just be lagging behind. Well, another one is you don't want to be exposed to something without covering it with a muzzle. For as you want that, that distance you are exposed to be as short as possible, if hopefully never. Uh, that comes from those overlapping sectors, your buddies working with you. So what are those things that we're covering? And that's what the priorities of work are. So the first thing would be this really sketchy looking dude we have over here in the corner if you want to pan over. That is a very obvious threat, right? Um, He's covered in gear, he's got all kinds of crazy stuff on, uh, super expensive pistol, uh, obviously a threat, you know, he's got all this stuff going on. Now what about this little guy? We don't, we don't see any threats. Um, he could be a karate master for all we know, but the idea is we have a known threat person and an unknown threat person. The guy who's not clearly displaying weapons, that doesn't mean he's not a threat. We still have to worry about him but he's not as high of a priority as the dude in full kit who's laying hate, right? Uh, now, again, we're talking about being in a room. Jay, would you, what would you say is the next thing that's the most important in the room? I'll probably have to say uh, an area inside that room that one of those people can possibly hide behind. Right, so we got this mattress set up here. This could be like a couch or anything else. We got a six foot four dude in full kit that can pretty easily hide behind that. What else could be dead space in the room? It doesn't have to be an object you're hiding behind. B, can you come over here and get by this light stand for us? Come over here, Mitchell, where you can kind of see like as if you were the guy with the with the rifle trying to clear. If you're in this corner, I cannot see Brent. And he could be holding, he's got a full length rifle and kid over here on the ground. You can't see him, right? So that is dead space in a room. There's physical items you can hide behind. Thank you, B. Uh, what comes next after that? So we've got all the people, got all the places people could hide. Well, what about doors? Is a door that's open or a door that's closed? higher priority. We say an open door, and that's because deep angles. So, um, Brennan, stand over here by this, this door for me. Just look at the angles from my flashlight. Inside here for me, boss, right there on the ground. Inside the room. There you go. Brennan's a teammate who's cleared, right? You see the angles we're creating on the ground? I can see him from way back here. I'm all the way in the back of this room. So the idea is there's a deep angle here that we have to worry about in this next room that's open. We've got to close the door over here on this side, on the other side of Mitchell. Are we as worried about something that someone can't see us directly through versus an open door? That seems pretty straightforward, right? So the priority of work doesn't necessarily mean that's what we go do first per se, but it is the order in which we want to address problems before we move to the next thing. We wouldn't want to go into that open door while leaving a person unattended to or dead space unclear because we're giving up our back to something. Uh, anything you would add to that, Jay? No. Pretty straightforward, right? Anything to add to that, Mitchell? Nope, I'm good. All right, cool. So yeah, if you guys want to come learn about that in person and actually work through those problems in a team setting or in our solo CQB classes, uh, OrionTrainingGroup.com. We do have a website with all the classes listed. Unrestricted open enrollment for American citizens. So we hope to see you there. Check it out. Thank you.